Yes, people, what's going on? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Make sure you lot are smashing up the lights as always. Make sure that you lot are subscribing to the channel. Like I said, roll to 10k. You know what I'm saying? Love for 5k. We're on 5.2 now. We're going to get there real soon, people. We're going to get there. You know what I mean? But listen, lovely, lovely win today, man. Very, very impressive performance. You know, I was yesterday reading an article about Noah. You know, I know there's been a there's been some banter, you know, some tired jokes about Noah's arc and whatnot. You know what I mean? And funny enough, I saw their manager speaking about this club is actually named after Noah from the Bible. I couldn't believe what I was reading. You know what I'm saying? They actually changed their name. Yeah. But we still had a job to do. I know we've got better players. I know we should be winning this this tournament. But end of the day, this is the first time, the biggest halftime lead by any English club in a major European game in 47 years, right? 47 years. Scoring six goals in the first half is very, very impressive because you've got to be clinical, you know. You've got to make sure that you're, you know, you're, you're, you're pouncing on any mistakes the opponent makes, right? You've got to be switched on. You've got to, be, you've got to concentrate. You've got to create some chances. That's the only way you score goals, right? And that's exactly what we did today, you know. Second half, I thought we took our foot off the gas a little bit, you know, Start to take a, you know, it was a little bit, not laxy daisy, but, you know, we, the game was already won in the first half and we still ended up scoring two more goals. Um, for me, it definitely wasn't a penalty, you know, but end of the day, we got it. It is where it is. And Cuckoo still had to finish that chance. But the main thing today that I want to speak about really is, obviously we'll, we'll touch up on the goals and some of the performances today. But the main thing for me is mentality, right? Because we've got Arsenal coming this weekend. And for me, the only way we're going to beat Arsenal at the weekend is through our mentality, people. And that's exactly what we showed today. So that's what I want to be seeing from the first team at the weekend, because today the boys did not take their foot off the gas in that first half, right? Mark Gill pressing from the front, going through the lineup. I was happy to see Gill start in the game. I was happy to be finally seeing Nkuku in the pockets. And for me, conference league or not, he just looked a lot more comfortable picking up the, the ball in that space and, you know, passing it to the likes of Felix, the likes of Mudrick. He actually got the assist, I believe, for, for Mudrick's goal that he scored, right? The, the banger that he scored. Very, very good goal. Look how many times we've seen Mudrick try and, try and do that for Chelsea and it always ends up in row Z, you know? So once again, it's showing that he's improving. He's got a little bit of composure and today he was able to execute that that finish that he struggled with. You know what I mean? Yeah? In Kuku this season, in, in the Conference League, he's been playing up top and he hasn't really looked that comfortable up there because he's just not a striker, you know? So it was nice to see him in, in, in that pocket. You know what I'm saying? I thought Tyreek George in the first half was, was looking okay when he was getting the ball. He was looking quite good, looking quite threatening. Um, I think he actually created the most chances for us today. He created four chances um, from, from the wing. There was actually one chance that he whipped across. Uh, Mark Gill got like a little flick on and Mudrick must have just banged it back <laughs> towards, towards Tyreek. Um, I thought it was a good performance from him. Um, to be honest, I didn't think Mudrick was really involved in the game much. I don't think any of our wingers were really. Do you know what I'm saying? Because obviously we scored from, from Gil, um, sort of pressing from the front. Very good finish from him. He needed that. You saw it in his celebration, the way he just done the knee slide at the bridge. You know what I mean? Because for me, listen, I was happy with the signing in the summer. Obviously, he's come to another big club. You know, he's, he's learning a new language and whatnot. you got to let, let these things marinate at times. you got to let them cook. I haven't written them off. I don't, I don't rate him any less. But end of the day... He's still young. He's got to learn. He's got to develop. He's got to get used to the country. He's got to get used to the league. But I'm just hoping that going forward, he'll start to get a lot more opportunities um, in attack because I don't really want to be seeing Nkuku coming off the bench uh, for, for Jackson. If Nkuku comes off the bench, I want him to be coming on coming on for the likes of, of Palmer or whoever's playing a little bit more centrally, right? Or if you don't want to take Palmer off, you move him to the wing and you play Nkuku down the middle. Do you know what I'm saying? Because for me, Gil needs to be getting more minutes. Yeah, he needs to be getting more minutes because he's a different profile of, of striker that we haven't got up there. He, he's very good at pressing. Yeah, and you saw that for, the, for, for, like I said, the goal that he scored and for the third goal that we scored as well when he won the ball back for us. You know what I'm saying? It was, it, was, uh, it, was, it was good for him to press and for Felix to just finish it the way he did. You know what I'm saying? I thought Jao Felix today was, was fantastic today. Very good performance, you know, very neat on the ball. Um, he played a pass for Nkuku for Nkuku's goal as well. He slipped it through to him. You know what I mean? Uh, I thought he was everywhere. And obviously he took, he took both his goals quite well as well. You know, let me just remind myself of some of these goals that we scored today because we scored so many goals 
And I'm just trying to remind myself here, yeah. So obviously Tossin scored um the first goal, assist from Enzo Fernandez. Very, very nice corner, corner routine there. Um, obviously, Gil scored the second goal. Disasi scored another header. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying, people. I'm hoping that this is a little warm-up to, to playing Arsenal at the weekend. Obviously, Arsenal are a different animal in the box. Like, I, I highly doubt we're going to score a set piece, but they work today. You know what I'm saying? They actually work today. So, you know, hopefully we can carry that on at the weekend. Um, obviously, yeah, you got you got Enzo got an assist for, for Jao Felix. Uh, Mudrik scored his goal and Kuku set him up. Um, and obviously, Jao Felix scored again. And that was a good finish. The second goal that he scored was, was, was a very good finish as well. Um, obviously, and Cuckoo scored the penalty, and um, and then yeah, he, he he took his goal quite well as well. So, overall, listen, I'm very happy to be seeing us that was very sort of clinical in front of goal. And like I said, we didn't take these lot lightly, yeah. Like I said at the beginning of this tournament, we can't be going into these games thinking, yeah, we're just gonna win. That's exactly what we did against United. We just went into the game thinking, yeah, these men are shit, we're gonna win. And even today, I don't care if United won, if you actually watch their game, because I had both, I had both games on, yeah. If you watch their game, every time I'm seeing them attacking, it looks like they're not going to score, right? The uh, Ahmad was was probably their best player today and he scored two goals, right? Very good from him. But overall, we should have fucking wiped the floor of them the other day, Old Trafford or not, because they're not good. You know what I mean? So the mentality that we had today of not taking our foot off these guys' neck is the exact same thing that I want to be seeing um, at the weekend because, bro, I'm tired, absolutely tired of not picking up all three points against Arsenal, yeah? The last time we beat these lot was in the Prem with Lukaku and that. These men had Mari and that at centre-back, people, right? I remember Reese James scored that scored that game as well, you know? It's fucking annoying because they just yap, 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 you know? They talk, 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 talk. Want hella respect as if as if they've won anything. You've got, you've got your, all your plaudits because you've improved, yeah? You're not, you're not a little banter club like what you was before, you know, AFTV and chill like what it was before. I know recently, recent results haven't been great, but let's be real. Arsenal have improved. They've been competing, right? But they 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 overly ask for this this respect that you would be give, giving to teams like Liverpool and, and Man City that have actually been winning stuff. And we've still won something more recent to them, right? But in the league, people, I have always grown up, yeah? Always grown up beating Arsenal. The days of Drogba, Ashley Cole, Lampard, Terry, Essien, all these men. Every time we go to the Emirates, Drogba would bag. Every time they'll come to the bridge, Drogba would bag. Yeah? I'm tired of this, this little routine we've got going on right now, where every single time we play these lot, we fucking lose. Yeah? We need to make sure that we win this weekend. Yeah? And the likes of Felix and that. When Moresca's looking at the bench, if he doesn't start the game, let's say Palmer's fit and, and Felix doesn't start the game. After today's performance... Maresca's definitely going to be looking at him and saying, do you know what? You played very well the other day. You can come on. Do you know what I mean? Because we've barely, we've barely seen him in the Prem. I thought he was brilliant today. The little touches around the corner, the way he was dribbling the ball, the, the, his weight of pass as well. Very good. And like I said, for me and Cuckoo, he took his, he took his finish as well. You know? Um, but yeah, overall, good performance, man. I thought Jorgensen was, was solid in the goal. Uh, he didn't really have much to do, but anytime the ball was, you know, he had a save to make. He made the save. Um, I think from the back, he just he just looks a lot more stable than 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 Sanchez, in my opinion, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I really I really want Jorgensen to just start to to get some opportunities because I'm I'm just tired of Sanchez, right? I keep I keep predicting Chelsea to concede at least one goal because of this keeper. I shouldn't be doing that. I should not be doing that, bro. Yeah, no clean sheets before this game in what eight games? Yeah, and right now I'm just looking at Mudrik's goal. What a goal that was, bruv. Man just cut in and just whipped it in. Yeah. So listen, I don't think Mudrik's going to start the weekend. It'll probably be Neto and Madwaki again. But Mudrik has definitely put, put, put himself in there now. Yeah, to be considered. So when Mareska's looking at the bench, he's like, yo, Mikhailo, okay, I can trust you. You come on. Because he actually did well last year when we played Arsenal and he scored against them as well. Cross or not, he still ended up scoring. He was better than any of their wingers, put it that way. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, man, listen. On to the next one, like I said, on to the next one, man. Um, Conference League is, is a different experience, you know, because so used to the Champions League, so used to the Europa League. It's a completely different experience. I hope we just win this trophy and never, ever, ever see it again, bro. Never, ever see it again. Yeah? Because you can't get overly gassed by these, these results. And at the same time, you can't completely ignore them. Right? 
But we need to make sure that we go into the game at the weekend with the exact same mentality that we went with today. You know what I mean? But listen, people, make sure you lot are smashing up the lights as always. Let me know, you know, what you thought about my thoughts about the game. Um, I, I didn't really want to sort of break down the game much, to be honest with you. It was so easy, man. I, I literally had it as, as background noise at one point. You know what I'm saying? 8 nil people. That's fucked. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But listen, I've got a preview tomorrow. Massive, massive preview. We've got Dan Potts, Lee Judges. Uh, Rory is going to be on there as well. And then it's going to be me, Jem, and Javon. Um, so we're going to do like a free, free preview tomorrow at 6 p.m., people. So make sure that you lot are locked in, man, because that one there is going to be crazy. You know what I mean? Crazy. I've been, I've been seeing Lee. <laughs> I saw the, the videos floating about of Lee um, guy leave, leaving the set and that <laughs> during the pod. That's what's happening right now at Arsenal, boys. It's crisis. You know what I mean? But up the fucking shows every time. And love, man. Till the next one.